Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to part four, 80cc go-kart build. So I got the go-kart out here. I got the new axle swapped into the frame now. I did get new bearings. So we got brand new bearings on both sides now. And um, this is a sprocket hub that came on this axle, but this is the sprocket that came on this go-kart. So it does work together. And I believe the sprocket is actually gonna work for the little dirt bike chain too. It seems like it is the same type of chain or the same pitch, so I'm just gonna run with it and see, see if it works when we get it going. I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the frame. You know, we thought about just moving the front end up, we thought about cutting it at the grip tape, and we thought about cutting it back here. Um, after much deliberation and against the advice of Rado, I am going to cut it back here. I have confidence that it's going to be plenty strong enough and uh, that's what we're going to do. It's the easiest spot to uh, stretch it, so that's what we're going to do. I got the frame all measured out where I'm going to cut and I got some tape put on there to help me try to make straight cuts. And uh, I think we're ready to start chopping this thing up. About to ruin a go-kart. Yeah. Okay, we got the go-kart cut in half now. Yeah, I'm very surprised how thick this tubing is. That's pretty heavy-duty steel on there. Um, I like that. That's gonna be nice to weld to, get some good penetration uh, without burning through, you know? That's gonna make this easier. So, the bottom frame rail is a slightly larger diameter than the top frame rail. Uh, what I'd like to do is get some sections of pipe that are going to slide over that. Um, that way I don't have to butt weld it and then weld weld them with a section of it slid. That's why I left like extra there and that's why I left extra here. So there was going to be plenty of extra, you know, so I could sli say slide the tubing up to uh, here and then weld it here. That way there's going to be some overlap. And also I slightly staggered my cuts. Uh, I kind of wanted to stagger them a little more than that, but if I'm going to use a thicker tubing for here, I didn't want it to start getting into the tire. So I kind of brought this more forward than I was planning, but I think it's going to be fine. Now that I'm seeing how, how thick wall this tubing is, I'm sure this is the same way, this stuff on this go-kart. So I'm going to cut a piece off this roll cage and see if it will slide over this. And then I'm going to see if it'll slide over this. I think it's going to slide over this, but not that but there's only one way to find out. Okay, so this is the black roll cage steel. Oh, it doesn't even slide over that. I'm surprised. It's slightly bigger, but uh, the exact diameter of that. So that's not going to work for that. And it's not going to work for this either. I'm surprised. I, I thought this would slide over this one at least. And they're just slightly different. So it looks like the tubing from the black go kart from the roll cage is not going to work as the metal I'm going to be able to use to extend the frame out. So I'm going to have to go to the steel supply place and get some steel that's going to fit my purposes but uh, that's not really a big deal that's what I was planning on doing anyway I just figured hey I got this extra metal this extra go-kart might as well try 
See if I can save myself some money, but it's not gonna work, so whatever. I'm gonna have to go get some metal, like I said, to extend the frame. So I'm kind of on a standstill on the frame, so I figured now is a good time to start disassembling the KDX-80 and uh, get the motor off this thing. So that's what we're gonna do now in the meantime. <laughs> the motor mount bolts taken out I got the pipe bolts taken out I got the gas tank taken off the air box out so the motor should just come out at this point I tried to weasel the pipe out of there but it's kind of like at this kind of jammed in there it's hard to get the you can't really get the pipe out without taking the motor out I guess but uh, neither of them really want to come out at this point I'm trying to avoid taking the rear shock off but it's kind of holding the swing arm in place really trying to do the least amount of damage here so um, I can just put this thing back together if I ever decide I want to do that I'm hoping the go-kart ends up way cooler than this bike is because this bikes not all that fun to ride anymore since I've really outgrown it um, it's not designed for an adult but everything is loose so I'm gonna try to get this motor out of here I don't know how the hell they get that thing in there because I can't get it out it's like everything is like tangled I don't really understand well I'll keep working at it you know I got quite the mess going on here uh, here's the goods Here we have the motor and the pipe Over there we have the carburetor So <clears throat> Mission was a success I don't know why I thought I would be able to do this and keep the bike in one piece Because apparently that is not possible So getting everything like loosened up and getting all the bolts removed and everything like that was not didn't take much time maybe like 20 minutes to get everything pretty much ready for the motor to come out actually like finagling the motor out of the frame ended up taking the most amount of time but overall I would say I probably only have an hour into this so didn't take all that long I'd like to put the swing arm back on the bike so I can turn the dirt bike back into a roller because I don't really feel like having a pile of parts laying around all right guys that's going to be the video for today i hope you enjoyed following along if you haven't seen the other parts go back and watch them if you'd like to continue to follow along go down below and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it i'm still a small channel so every subscriber i get really makes a difference to me and um, i really appreciate it so if you like what i'm doing go down below hit the like button hit subscribe and uh, i'll see you next time